gentlemen, but hear me. Before we start, let me ask you two questions. So first of all, how many of you think that tourism has beneficial effects on the environment and a surrounding community? Please raise your hands. Thank you. The second one, do you believe tourism only has negative impacts on the environment? Yes, we believe that tourism only has negative impacts on the environment. Oh, I agree. I second that. For argument, it's 2 a.m. What are we arguing about? Thank you for your answers. It seems that our most of you think that tourism has more negative impacts than positives. Nowadays, it's quite common for people to take trips to foreign countries. Well, some people worried about pollution caused by tourism. They may be concerned that this change could bring about possible problems. According to my personal experience, today I'm gonna talk about how tourism leads to a chain of positive effects on the environment. First of all, it's true that one of the most important benefits of tourism is an increase in people's environmental awareness. For example, when I was traveling in Zealand, I took part in a fascinating adventure activity. Swimming with seals, we tracked a boat but on the way back, the captain suddenly changed the same direction and sailed toward a water bottle floating far away from us in the ocean. He picked it up and threw it in the example trash can when we arrived at the seashore. His environmental awareness made a big impact on me. Let me give you another example. In Victoria, Whale watching is very popular. Whale watching companies use boats that cause less stress to whales and is pollution free. Obviously, doing things like this really helps grow people's environmental awareness. Let's move on to my next point. Tourism introduces to us the various eco-friendly construction methods. For instance, when I was in Hawaii, I stayed in the ecological treehouse. These treehouses efficiently utilize renewable energy, such as solar energy and rainwater recycling. The treehouse construction is non-toxic, easy to recycle, and has no side effects. Furthermore, Qingdao Tower in my hometown is a major tourist attraction. It's an environmentally eco-friendly construction. It utilizes water conservation, and they built a garden on the roof. People from other areas or cultures can see and possibly use the same eco-friendly construction method in their own countries. As a result, we can share ideas about eco-friendly construction methods, which help make tourism more environmentally eco-friendly. Lastly, from a long-term point of view, tourism promotes the local economy, while at the same time, investing and developing ecotourism projects to form a virtual for instance, it's true that Qingdao was a small fishing village 15 years ago. But due to the quick development of tourism, Qingdao has become one of the most famous economic centers in China. It has the longest ocean bridge and ocean tunnel all over the world. It's also an Olympic city and has been the summit city for the G8. According to the official statistics in 2021, Qingdao has 30 million people and over 800,000 of them work in the tourist 
industry, which benefits from tourism profits. It's true that tourism is like a bridge that connects people every day and helps build up a community. In conclusion, it's fact that tourism can benefit both the community and the environment. It raises people environmental awareness, increases knowledge about eco-friendly construction methods, and promotes the local economy. In this age of globalization, people will continue to travel. Tourism should have positive impacts on the environment, communities, and people. It's important that this is one of the main goals when promoting and creating various avenues for tourism. Thank you for listening.